Hi, my name is Dr. Jessica Karp, and I'm a family medicine with obstetrics provider at HealthPoint Midway Clinic. What we're gonna show you is a video of me speaking with a pretend Dari speaking patient about what is a pap smear and why it's important for preventative medicine and cervical cancer screening. What are pap smears? Pap smears are part of our regular preventative medicine screening in ways that we want to keep healthy even if we feel healthy. Pap smears are testing cervical cancer screening. The cervix is the tip of the uterus deep in the vagina. And what we do for pap smear testing is we test cells of the cervix to see if they're abnormal and becoming pre-cancer. We want to catch it before it becomes cancer so that we can do something about it. We're also testing in the pap smear for something called the HPV or human papillomavirus. We found that strains of that virus, which is very common, if it's a higher risk strain, it can cause the cells to become abnormal, which can lead to abnormal cells of the cervix and precancer. So we're usually testing for both of those things. The testing usually begins for women anywhere from age 21 to 25 and usually ends at age 65. It begins for women at those specific ages, even if they have never had sex or even if they've never had a baby or even if they have had a baby and they're done having babies, we still do the testing. What is the procedure like? So to do the procedure, you'll be here in the exam room and you'll sit on the exam table with a sheet over your lap with your pants and underpants off. Um, and I will prepare the information for the pap smear. What we have to do first is bend your knees and relax the legs out to the side. And then I'll look at the outside of the vagina and examine to make sure everything looks healthy. And then I'll use a tool called a speculum, which I'm going to show you, that will help to open the walls of the vagina so that I can see the cervix. And then when I see the cervix, I'll use a soft brush to take some cells off of the tip of the cervix for testing. Once all of that is done, I'll remove everything and help you sit up. Sometimes, because testing cells off of the tip of the cervix can cause a little bit of spotting or bleeding, much lighter than a period. But I'll give you a pad for your underwear that you can use afterwards, and the spotting will go away in one to two days. The speculum looks like this. And this part will have some gel on it. And just about this much will go into the vagina. So I put it into the vagina slowly and gently, if there's any discomfort, you always tell me and I can stop at any time. And then I use the tool to open just a little bit so that I can see to the cervix and that's what I need to see to do my examination and testing. And then once I see the cervix, I use this soft brush, which you can feel is soft here, to take sample of the cells of the cervix. And then I remove this and I remove the speculum and you're all done. What does it feel like? Um, different women experience the procedure differently. Um, there can be some discomfort using the speculum to um, open the walls of the vagina. And it really helps if you're comfortable and you're able to relax the muscles of your legs and your bottom. So sometimes when you're doing it, taking a nice deep breath and exhaling as the speculum is going in can help. The doctor who's doing it can help remind you to relax the muscles so that it's less uncomfortable. And um, sometimes taking the sample of the cervix can be a little uncomfortable, but it lasts no more than a few seconds. The entire procedure from the start of the speculum going in to sampling and the speculum coming out can take less than a few minutes if everything is calm and comfortable. If at any time you're uncomfortable, you can always say, stop, wait, I need more time, or I don't want to do this today, take everything away, and your doctor will listen to you. How often do I need the procedure? So um, depending on the results of the test, you'll need to do the pap smear usually every three to five years, depending on your age and the results of the test. It takes about one week for the test results to come back after they're done, and then someone from the clinic will call you to tell you the results and when the next one is due. Who is allowed to come to the procedure with me? Who will be in the room? Usually, um, it's up to you who you want to be in the room during the procedure. So most of the time, it can be just the doctor and the patient. 
Or if there's family members or anyone else that you want to be in the room, they can be here with you. And usually what we'll do is we'll put the chairs towards the head of the bed so that they're at the top of the bed with you and they're not down in the area where I'm doing the procedure. What does the pap smear test tell me about my health? What do the results mean? So the results of the pap smear test either tell us that the cells of the cervix are normal or abnormal. If they're normal, then we need to repeat the pap smear in three to five years, depending on your age and the results, and we'll let you know. If the results are abnormal, we'll call you and we'll have an entire appointment with your doctor to discuss what is abnormal, what does it mean, and what are the next steps that we need to do for it. And I do want you to know that this is different than other type of genital or swab testing, and it's specifically testing cells off the tip of the cervix called the pap smear testing. So even if you've had other genital swab testing, you maybe haven't had a pap smear testing, or even if you've had a pap smear testing, it's not testing for other genital swab things. So you just have to ask your doctor and make sure that you know what is being tested for your health. Is pap smear testing safe? Yes, pap smear testing is safe. It's safe even if you've never had sex. It's safe even if you've never had a baby. It's safe even in pregnancy or after pregnancy if you're breastfeeding or later, it's also safe. It's always safe to do the pap smear testing. And also it's safe to do pap smear testing during the menstrual cycle bleeding. Sometimes if there's a lot of bleeding, it's a little bit hard to do it. Um, but if the bleeding is a little bit lighter, we can still do the pap smear testing. So if you have an appointment that day and you have very light bleeding, it's okay. We can still do the pap smear. If it's difficult to do on that day, we can always reschedule to another day. I know that the HPV virus increases my risk of developing cervical cancer. What else can I do to protect myself from the HPV virus? So other than just generally staying healthy, um, the best thing that you can do to protect yourself against getting the HPV virus is to get the HPV vaccine. So the HPV vaccine is um, for boys and girls starting at age nine years old and up until someone is 26 years old. So if you haven't gotten the HPV vaccine and you're under 26 years old, you can get that covered for you and get it at the doctor's office. If you're older than that age, then you're not necessarily gonna get the vaccine anymore, but our hope is that if enough young children get the vaccine, then later they won't be able to get the virus that causes the cells to become abnormal and causes cervical cancer. So we hope that more vaccinations will help prevent cervical cancer in later years. How much will it cost to get a pap smear or an HPV vaccine? So insurance covers the pap smear testing as well as the HPV vaccine for people up until 26 years old. So you won't have to pay anything because your insurance will pay for the procedure and for the vaccine if indicated. If you have any more questions about this procedure or if it's the right thing for you, please ask your provider.